2019, there is a login facility provided as detailed by Test Plan 4, where the user can enter a previously set username and password or create a new user. All user data is stored in text files in the product folder, as seen over here. So if I create a new user named Billy, we can see the new text file over here. Error checking and validation techniques have also been implemented to ensure that no two users have the same username as seen over here. Similarly for the password. As seen over there. I will now enter with a previously set username and password to load the data I've already entered before to demonstrate this program. When logging in, the home screen has two main functionalities, A, the revision timetables maker, and B, the task manager. I will in this table, the user can input all the subject-specific data. The program has been tailored for the IBDP program because of the SL and HL task management and priority levels. This allows students to better manage their time, a skill imperative to do well in the IB diploma program. They can easily add a subject, for example, history and World War II revision. As seen over here. They can delete a subject as seen over here or even edit a subject as seen over here. Error checking and validation techniques have also been implemented here to ensure that no subject is left without a subject entry in the field as seen over there and if a subject is entered and no other parameters are chosen, default parameters are taken into account all the data displayed in the table is simultaneously stored into a text file. This has two main benefits. One, it loads automatically upon login. And two, it allows the pastoral counselor to see the student's raw data. When the data is entered into the table, a revision timetable will be generated by clicking over here. Because of test plan one, based on the time required and the priority, the subjects are assigned randomly, as seen over here. Based on test plan 2, each subject is in a different color. Based on test plan 8, an adjust settings functionality is provided where the user can alter the length of the study sessions and breaks. Preset values have also been implemented based on the average um, of our school study sessions, which is from 9 to 9 during the study breaks. And average has um, the typical length of study sessions has also been implemented and the length of breaks. The smart nature of the software means that if the user decides to study too ambitiously, the program alerts the user, as seen over here, through the customized message. This is to generally help the users plan the study sessions better. Similarly, in the contrasting way, if the student decides to study for a bit less than what is expected, the program notifies them again. These changes are also reflected if they decide to change to their timetable based on this. So if I make the length of study sessions 1 and the break between each session 10 minutes, I can save this and view timetable. These changes are reflected in the new timetable based on the time the user set for the study. A what's recommended options also given to guide the students in their studying pursuits. The print functionality is also given based on test plan number seven, which is to give students more flexibility of printing the table out. The standard dialog opens from a preview file, which is also saved saved in the product folder, as seen over here. Based on test plan number 10, a reflect on learning option is also provided, which sends an email to the student's counselor if the student is dissatisfied with the learning, i.e. if they click this radio button. This is automatically updated based on the subjects entered, as seen over here.
They can also email the counsellor if they are worried about the planning. Based on test plan 6, a view statistics functionality has also been implemented. Here we can see a clear pie chart of how the user spends their time. This can be sent to the guardian to keep them in the loop as well as detailed by test plan number 5. This pie chart is dynamic and uses the data from text files of the users. As seen over here, this just got sent. There is also a music functionality put here to help students study better. A why music functionality has also been put in to encourage students to understand what they're listening to better. This is an area of five music files based on 60 beats per minute music which is ideal for studying. The icons are self-explanatory based on test plan 3. The second feature of the program, the task manager, it allows an easy implementation of reminders for the students. For example, if they want to remember to do IOC um, prep, you can just add it over here and easily delete as well. I've made maintenance easier by thoroughly commenting stand using standardized identifiers and meaningful variable names throughout and made my product easy to extend by ensuring all methods are independent to increase modularity.